Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've been a little bit absent because I had surgery, so I just needed a little bit of time to recover, but I'm back and everything is great. And also these are fresh, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do two videos on this topic, toy poodles. The first one is going to be five cons about having a toy poodle. And next time I'll talk about five pros to having a toy poodle. So as you know, there's pros and cons to everything in life, including toy poodles. So let me tell you why toy poodles can sometimes be annoying, irritating, frustrating. Let's check it out. This is the perfect video if you are looking to get a toy poodle and you want to know what are the ups and downs and if it's the perfect one for you. And if you're a toy poodle owner or a lover, then you know that these things are pretty true when it comes to having a toy poodle. So number one is noise. They bark a lot and they bark excessively sometimes. Lambo barks at everything. If he hears something inside, outside, if he hears a voice, a thump, anything, a hammer knocking on the wall, he barks at everything. A horn beeping outside, anything. He just barks at it, so he barks a lot. But he doesn't make for a very good guard dog because usually just people aren't scared of him. He's little fluffy and cute. So they're very noisy and they don't make good guard dogs at the same time. So yeah, that's number one. But you can train them to be quiet. So you can put quiet on cue and get them to be quiet. So it is something that is trainable. I will add that. Um, but you can't make them big, fierce guard dogs. That's something you can't really train. Number two, they are very curious and this can sometimes get them into trouble because they want to sniff and lick everything outside in this world or inside in your home. So you do have to keep an extra eye out on them just to make sure that they're not sniffing or licking something that they shouldn't. If you drop something that they shouldn't have or ingest, make sure to clean it up before they get to it because they will try because they're curious. Number three, having a toy poodle can also take up a lot of your time because they do require a lot of attention and affection because they are a very loyal companion dog. So you do have to spend a lot of time with them, otherwise they can become depressed. And they are also prone to separation anxiety because of this. Because there are such companion dogs and they wanna be with you all the time, they can have anxiety when you leave the house or in just all sorts of situations. So Lambo does actually have anxiety. And I've talked about dog anxiety before and what we've done to deal with his anxiety. So again, this is something that you can deal with and something that you can train and practice to make it better. Number four kind of goes off of point number three, and that's that toy poodles are very clingy. They are very clingy dogs, and they want to be with their owners all of the time. So even if we go out somewhere, we go to a friend or family member's house, Lambo is always by our side and follows us everywhere we go, even in the house. If I get up from the living room to go to the bedroom, he's following me. If I'm going to the kitchen, he's following me. So he's pretty much there every step that I take. But I might add that it's so worth it because they're so cute. Okay, point number five is that toy poodles or poodles in general do require a lot more grooming and regular grooming. You need to brush their coats all of the time to avoid getting tangles and dreadlocks, which can lead to skin infections and skin issues. You have to clean and check their ears regularly to make sure they don't get ear infections. They have hair that grows inside of their ears, so you have to pull it out and clean it thoroughly. So, we groom Lambo like every two weeks, but you shouldn't go more than four weeks, I would say, 
Some online sources say four to six weeks, but I give Lambo a shower and a good brush every two weeks. When we lived on the island, I would also give him a haircut. Now I've let his hair grow out a little bit more so that it does keep him warmer because where we live now is cooler than where we lived before. So yeah, they do require regular grooming. And that is something that you need to be mindful of and make sure that you keep up with every two to three weeks. And by grooming, I mean like the full shebang, everything, cleaning out their ears, trimming down their nails, washing them, brushing them, trimming their curls, all that stuff. But when it comes to actually brushing their coat, that's something you should do every week or maybe every few days. Just make sure that their curls are always nice and luscious and you can easily run your hands through them and take a peek into their ears just to make sure everything's all good there too. So that's it for today, guys. Those are my five cons about having and owning a toy poodle. But don't forget that with every con, there is an awesome pro. They are amazing dogs and a breed that I do recommend and I personally love. I just want more toy poodles, like toy poodles all over the house, please. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. We love to chat with you guys in the comments and it's been so awesome getting to know everybody and their birds and dogs as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, and thank you for 1,000 subscribers. We hit 1K and we couldn't be more grateful. So thank you for joining us at Lambo and May.